Leading local tonight, in just the last hour, we have a verdict in the Nikki Ensel trial. We're going to go to straight, to straight to Brooke Williams, who's been covering the trial. Brooke, what's the outcome? Nicholas, the jurors have made their decision and they have found Nikki Ensel guilty on all charges. She was found guilty of conspiracy to commit murder, conspiracy to commit arson and conspiracy to tamper with physical evidence. Now, before the jurors began deliberating, the attorneys made their closing arguments and the state elected not to call Earl Howard, the co-defendant, to the stand. Now, on in his closing argument, defense attorney Thomas Glass said that the state making that decision raised questions and if there are questions then there can be reasonable doubt here's a portion of his closing argument and also the state's rebuttal the conspiracy to commit murder is the big question why did we not have the alleged co-conspirator here to testify He's the one guy that can give all the answers. Not here. Defense spent his time talking about what's not here and completely ignored everything that is here. All of the evidence, as I indicated earlier, shows that the defendant committed these crimes. I didn't go over every piece of evidence. I went over the ones that I believe were most important. Again, after hearing those closing arguments, jurors found Nikki Ensel guilty on all charges. Now, though, a judge has ordered a pre sentence investigation, and he expects that sentencing will take place within the next 60 days. Ensel does have a right to appeal the decision. And I did have the opportunity to speak with Lori, a Chad Ensel sister, and she said this has been a long, painful road. She described today as bittersweet, but she said that she was satisfied that jurors came to the decision that they did. And she said she tries to speak of his of her brother often in order to keep his memory alive. Nicholas Brooke Williams covering the trial from the beginning. Brooke, thank you very much.